Have you ever pondered why some people effortlessly navigate the financial maze while others struggle to stay afloat? If these questions have ever left you perplexed, welcome to WealthWise Finance, your guide to mastering money management and unlocking your financial potential. Financial literacy is the cornerstone of our journey. It's not just about knowing the ins and outs of money. It's about equipping yourself with the skills to make informed decisions that shape your financial future. From budgeting to investing, debt management to retirement planning, we've got you covered. But why does financial literacy matter? Simply put, it's the key to achieving your financial goals, whether it's buying a home, starting a business, or retiring in comfort. And to become financially literate, we need to start by understanding the essence of money itself. Money isn't just a medium of exchange. It's a way to store value and facilitate transactions. From bartering goods to storing wealth, money has evolved over millennia, shaping the way we interact with the world. And by grasping its role in society, we lay the foundation for financial literacy. So join us as we delve deeper into the world of money management, armed with knowledge and skills to navigate the complexities of finance. Because when it comes to securing your financial future, education is the ultimate currency. Stay tuned for more insights and tips to elevate your financial IQ. Let's dive into your financial journey, starting with income and expenses. Picture your financial life as a movie, with these two characters taking center stage in every scene. Income, our hero, is the money you earn from various sources, your job, side hustles, rental properties, or investments. It's the driving force propelling your financial story forward. On the flip side, we have expenses, our villain, representing the money you spend on necessities like rent, utilities, groceries, and discretionary items like entertainment or dining out. They constantly challenge our hero, creating tension in our financial plot. Understanding your income and expenses is like deciphering the motivations of our main characters. If income falls short on expenses, it's like our hero is losing the battle. But if income exceeds expenses, our hero emerges victorious. The key to managing this dynamic duo is keeping track of them. Whether through a simple list or a detailed budget, knowing where your money comes from and where it goes empowers you to make informed decisions aligned with your financial goals. And that's where financial literacy shines. Using this understanding to make smart financial choices that propel you towards success. So, now that we've balanced our income and expenses, what's next? Stay tuned as we unravel the next chapter of your financial journey. Next, let's explore the crossroads of saving and investing. Two paths that lead to the ultimate destination, financial freedom. Picture yourself at this pivotal moment with one path labeled saving and the other investing. Saving is like taking the well-lit, safe path. It's about regularly setting aside a portion of your income in a bank account. This money is easily accessible and can be used for short-term goals or emergencies. The key here is consistency, making saving a habit no matter how small the amount. But saving has its limitations. Over time, due to inflation, the purchasing power of your savings may decrease. That's where investing comes into play. Investing is like taking the adventurous path. It involves using your money to buy assets like stocks, bonds, or real estate that have the potential to grow in value over time. While investing carries some level of risk, historically it's been one of the most effective ways to build wealth in the long term. So, should you save or invest? The answer is both. Saving provides a safety net for emergencies and short-term goals while investing helps you achieve long-term financial objectives like buying a home or retiring comfortably. Now, with savings and investments underway, what about debts? Stay tuned as we navigate the next step in your financial journey. Now, let's tackle debt management, an essential aspect of mastering your financial journey. Debt isn't inherently bad. It's a tool that, when used wisely, can propel you towards your goals. Think of taking out a mortgage for a home or a student loan for education. These are investments in your future, often dubbed good debt. 
However, debt can become problematic if not managed effectively. If you're spending more than you earn and relying on credit to bridge the gap, you could find yourself trapped in a cycle of debt, known as bad debt. So how do you navigate debt effectively? It starts with understanding your debt. Make a list of all debts, including amounts, interest rates, and minimum payments. Then create a budget to determine how much you can allocate to debt repayment each month. Next, prioritize your debts. Focus on high interest debts first to minimize interest costs over time. Make timely payments and aim to pay more than the minimum whenever possible to accelerate debt payoff. Most importantly, avoid accumulating more debt while you're working on paying off existing balances. This may require cutting expenses or finding ways to boost your income. With the right management techniques, you can conquer your debt and pave the way for a brighter financial future. But what lies ahead? Stay tuned as we uncover the next chapter of your financial journey. Let's dive into planning for the future, a crucial step in securing your financial well-being. First things first, setting financial goals. These are the destinations you aim to reach on your financial journey, whether it's buying a home, starting a business, or retiring early. Make sure your goals are SMART, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Once you have your goals in place, it's time to craft a financial plan, your roadmap to success. This plan should outline your income, expenses, savings, investments, and any debts. It should also include strategies for increasing income, reducing expenses, and how much you'll save or invest each month. Remember, financial planning isn't a one and done deal. Regularly review your plan and adjust it as needed. Life changes, and so should your financial strategy. Next, don't forget to build an emergency fund, your financial safety net. This fund should cover three to six months worth of living expenses, ensuring you're prepared for unexpected financial curveballs. And let's talk retirement. It may seem far off, but the earlier you start planning, the better prepared you'll be. Set retirement goals, decide on the lifestyle you want, and make a plan to achieve them. This might involve saving in retirement accounts, investing in a diversified portfolio, and considering other sources of retirement income. Remember, retirement should be a time to relax and enjoy life, not to worry about finances. So start planning today for a secure and comfortable retirement tomorrow. Your future self will thank you. Today, we've embarked on an exciting journey through the realm of financial literacy. From laying the groundwork with the basics to delving into intricate concepts, we've covered a lot of ground. We've learned about understanding money, mastering income and expenses, navigating, saving, and investing, and mastering the art of debt management. Plus, we've looked ahead to the importance of planning for the future and retirement. Now, we want to hear from you. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? Do you have any financial tips or insights you'd like to share? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the information in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for joining us on this financial journey. Until next time, happy financial planning.